Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today we're gonna to do a video talking about device intelligence for your WebEx device, uh, specifically people focus and frame view. And I wanna kinda of do a little primer of what each of them are first. And then I'm gonna show you some, some images to give you an example of actually what that translates to, how they work, and what does that mean. So first of all, each feature is independent. They're different from each other. Um, they do complement each other when used together. Um, and a lot of this will make more sense whenever I actually show you uh, the differences of how these work. But just to start, what is people focus? Essentially, people focus is a layout enhancement where you take an existing layout that you have on a device. Uh, let's, you know, on a device today, you can, you can choose specifically for your device what layout you want. So for example, if you want grid view, you can do grid view. If you want prominent, you do prominent. If you want stack or overlay, these views are personalized to whatever device you're on. And every person that's in a meeting can choose which layout they want. So it's independent to them. So this is a local change that you do on your device um, whenever you want to enable people focus. So when you choose your, your layout and you enable people focus, what people focus will do is it's going to take um, and look at your screen real estate and figure out what is the best way to maximize the use of this screen so we can eliminate as much dead space as possible, bring the people more in focus, bring them larger to life, make the meeting experience and what you're seeing better so you can interact with um, each individual um, you know, in, in a better way. So you can actually see them, you're not having to squint, they're not really small on the screen, you have you know, people taking up so much space. We're, we're actually making better usage of the screen real estate so you have a better viewing experience. And this is gonna be really cool. So we're gonna show you how this looks here in just a second. But before we go to that, I wanna talk a little bit about frame view. Now, frame view is different from people focus, and while they do complement each other, and I'll show you how here in a minute, frame view is a camera view. Just like when you can select speaker track, or, or you can do a manual camera control, or best overview, or group as we now call it, these are essentially what you're choosing your camera, how you wanna capture the room uh, for that particular uh, moment in that call. Now this is done on the device at the camera and then it's being sent to the far end. So the great thing about frame view is, is just like speaker track or manual or again, best overview group, frame view will work no matter what the meeting platform is because it's what we're actually sending out from the device. Works great in WebEx, but it also works great in Zoom, Microsoft, Google, third party SIP, you name it. Um, even if you're using our USB pass-through options, uh, the frame view, just like speaker track and whatnot, will work great in those scenarios too because it's the video that we're sending out. So now that we've talked a little bit about the difference between the two, let's actually see them in action. So I'm gonna bring up my uh, screen here. And this is just a cool little emulator to kind of give you an idea of, of allowing me to kind of walk through the differences between people focus and frames and how they, they work together. Now, I will be doing some other videos um, specifically with frames um, with, with live with one of my uh, units here. And I've got some, I've recruited some individuals to help me kind of show how it works uh, in a live situation. But for right now, we're just going to kind of go through and show you a demo of what each uh, feature does um, in a call um, for you. And right now, I've got this uh, meeting right here. This is a desk pro. I've got a room with two individuals. You see the room system up here. It's this uh, Springwise, and then we've got our two participants. Um, and I'm gonna go through each of these scenarios. So this is what you would typically see in a meeting, right? This is also what you would see if you were in a third party platform. Uh, this is a, a typical view. When I go to a room with three individuals, you're now gonna see kind of the typical, um, uh, and these are participants in addition to yourself. But this is the uh, typical grid view. We've got a pretty good usage of real estate here. You can see everybody fairly well. And then when you start adding another individual, you're gonna start to see, this is where we start going into the three by three, the four by four, the five by five grid view, where everybody really gets smaller, 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 but everybody still has their 16 by nine little space that they kind of own, right? So while this is um, you know, what we're used to, it's what every you know, meeting platform pretty much has, um, let's see what happens when we're in a WebEx meeting, which people focus does require WebEx um, and it is a RoomOS 11 feature. Um, let's see what happens when we enable people focus. Um, so right now you see this, it's not a bad view. We've got a lot of uh, dead space here, right? We've got some, some uh, black space over here, over here not being used. And um, what happens if we turn on people focus? 
Just like that, now we have a much better view of all the participants that are in this meeting. So we've taken that small little um, uh, 16 by 9 view that uh, we have of this room and using our camera intelligence we realized that hey we can kind of pull them and get rid of this dead space that is even around that picture bring them to the top of this screen and give you a much better view of all the participants that are in this meeting so again if I turn off people focus you see that room those people are going much smaller they're a little bit harder to see with people focus on look what happens I now have a much better viewing experience Let's just go ahead and move forward and look what happens if we have a room with three people. So now we've still got the room. We have a pretty good usage of real estate right here, but we're still having a hard time seeing, um, not a hard time, but they're just smaller than they probably need to be in this uh, room system over here. So when we turn on people focus, look what happens. We get them back in that top view, and you'll notice that each of these individual participants, you can still see them great. You still them, see them just fine. But you'll notice that the, the space that is around them that really doesn't have much to do with the meeting, that we actually kind of break down and eliminate to provide just the, the people that are in these uh, particular rooms to give better overall real estate usage on your screen. And the same thing will happen when we go to uh, four rooms or more individuals. So going back here, you see, same thing. Everybody's actually kind of smaller here, right? Because we're moving into the three by three grid. Look what happens when we turn on people focus. Pretty amazing, right? Now, we're still bringing in all of those people. They're actually being seen better, more prominently, because we're actually focusing in on the individuals and not all of the space that's not really relevant to the, to the meeting. And we get a much better view of everyone in the call. So WebEx meetings uh, feature, it's a great feature. Definitely encourage you to, to look at it and use it. Uh, if you have uh, Remote Celeb on your devices today, Join a WebEx, turn it on, and um, look at how much better you actually can experience your meetings, especially when you have multiple individuals in there. So now let's actually demo and talk and see what Frames does. Now Frame View is, again, a camera view. So the cool thing about Frames is, even though I'm kind of listed here as a WebEx meeting, um, this actually works in other meetings as well. So again, typical uh, layout here that you're used to. You see the, the group up there in the upper left-hand corner. They're still seen, but we could see them better. What happens when we turn on frames? Well, let's watch. Just like that, you see those individuals are now coming up and they're brought up to be more prominent to give a better framing of each individual. Now, frame view is a camera view, so it's what this room is sending. So we don't have any changes here from the other sites. They're still sending the same thing. So again, when I go to my larger views, you'll still see that they're sending this. We still have the same layout. And then even when we go up to a room with four individuals, we still have this now going into the three by three and again moving on, but if you'll notice if I turn frames off, we actually, with frames on, see the individuals in this room better. So even in a Skype or, uh, sorry not Skype, but Microsoft Teams or Google or Zoom meeting, we're gonna give a better viewing experience even on those other platforms um, than what they can provide uh, simply by our camera intelligence and giving a better uh, uh, view of the participants in that room. Now let's go back here and I wanna show you the advantage of using people focus and frames together. So going back to a WebEx meeting here, different view, same thing, turn frames off, turns frames on, it has a pretty good experience. If I turn frames off and you turn on people focus, you actually see a pretty decent experience here, right? We're getting better screen real estate. Now watch what happens when that far inside is actually sending frames as well. When I do frames, Look at this, now we actually are combining both features together to give you an even better view of what's going on. So we go from this, with people focus off in frames, to this, which gives you an even better display of the people that are in that room. So turning frames off again, leaving people focus on, same thing with the three people, four people, again, turn on frames, Look at this, everybody is actually being shown um, in an almost equal manner, um, and they're shown um, with, with great usage of the screen real estate here. So no more dead space. Again, turn people focus off. You still have the frame view. This is the same thing you'd see in a third party meeting. And, um, but with people focus, it really provides a very powerful meeting experience to give you uh, an amazing view of what's going on uh, in your meeting without uh, having all of this dead space that you don't need or space that, uh, that you don't even really need to see. 
So that's pretty much it from the demo perspective. And um, the frames mode that you have uh, is available today on Room OS 11 for room kits, room kit minis. Uh, and soon, um, right now in beta, we have it on the new room bar and the WebEx boards. And we'll be bringing that feature to the quad cam devices, Kodak Plus, Kodak Pro, later this year. So very exciting to be able to show you that. Now, I'm actually going to spend a little bit more time here. I kind of wanted to get that out of the way first because that's what people want to see and what's available right now. But I also want to come back here and show you a little uh, thing that we're kind of working on in regards to uh, frame view and people focus when it comes to larger groups of uh, people and rooms. So this right here is the three people um, in addition in, in this room to the uh, other participants in the call. So this is what we actually saw earlier. I turned on people focus. You see this view, which you guys uh, are familiar with, frames. This is what you're going to get. You're going to kind of have more of this equal um, kind of display here of all the individuals. It's a great view. Now, what happens now if I go to a room with five people? So again, with people focus on, we go from a more of a grid-like view to a better view where we actually see all the participants better. Now you'll notice here we have more than the four people, which is the maximum we're going to support for individual frames. We've actually got five people. But you can probably guess what's going to happen here. You actually see that we do have two different groups of people here. We have a group of three and a group of five. So we're going to actually start doing frames with people grouping as well. So when I turn on frames here, what you're going to see is, is we're going to frame up each individual group of people to give them a better kind of view on the screen. So it's almost like a best overview of a frame, if you will. And even with people focus off, you'll see that, you know, especially with people focus off or in a third party meeting, you can see how um, turning frames on provides a better experience for everyone, no matter what the meeting type. Let's get an idea, a sneak peek of how we would do this with seven people. So here you've got a group of three, you've got a group of two back here, and another group of two right here. And again, you'll notice I'm showing you on another third party meeting. If I turn on frames, look what happens. I'm getting a better view of all the people in that room and getting kind of a, a better shot so I can actually see that room better, no matter what my meeting platform is. Now, I have this same meeting in WebEx, and look what happens when that far end actually has people focus turned on. Look at how much better you're able to see all the participants and kind of the really neat factor that we have here in regards to all of the intelligence that our device is doing. So providing you a very, very unique and a very, very good um, experience when it comes to the different meeting types uh, and being able to see people better and use the screen real estate better. So. I hope that that gives you a better understanding and idea of what our camera intelligence does. This is a little hard to demo because uh, when you want to do a live demo, you have to have people in on a call or you have to have people in the room with you to kind of show it. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some of those videos pretty soon. I've got some creative ways and some recruitment people to help. So stay tuned for those. But I hope this was helpful and I hope that you're as excited as we are about uh, these uh, device features that we have that are available today and some enhancements coming later this year. But of course, as always, if you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And of course, subscribe to the channel um, and get ready for some other great unique videos uh, coming uh, over the coming weeks. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.